Hey guys, good morning. Hey, what's going on? I'm with the amazing Marty Lemon Rao, and she is dropping some huge nuggets on me, talking about consistency, talking about AI, and you know we know it's been a tough year out there for you realtors. So we thought we would give you a little bit of inspiration for the new year and some motivation and some advice. Yes, most definitely. You know what? This year actually has been amazing for me. And it, it's kind of um, a sad spot, right? Because I know that the people around me aren't necessarily growing where I've had the opportunity to increase my income by 283%. One of the reasons, Nick, now me and you, we go back a couple of decades, right? And I remember coming and doing training for you. And as a result, right, I'm, I've been here now for five years. And we're the number one exit franchise in the system. You're the number two right attractor at the number one, and I'm the number three. One thing that we've done, at least since I've known you, is to be consistent. But the reason we're having success, even in a down real estate market, I'm going to say we're going to go back to uh, the compound effect, right? Now, we have book club, right? Um, and we've read a lot of great books, and when we think about the compound effect, I want you to think about the fact that for probably close to 20 years, we've both put out content. We've been on social media, we've created videos, we've created a daily posts with photos, we've had the ability to mentor and coach others, right? We've created workbooks and worksheets. Uh, you send us an email every single day without Fail. The daily dose. The daily dose. <laughs> you communicate with us every single day. And I know that most managing brokers don't do that. To the point that we've had some agents. Well, I wish Nick didn't send so many emails. I said, I will never, let me be clear, I would never tell Nick not to send as many emails because there are too many brokers not sending any communication at all. If you don't want to read them, delete them, or put them into a folder that you come back to. But you're communicating with us through the internet, so it's there anyway. So I don't care if Nick is not even in this country, if he's not feeling well, if he's prepping for a marathon. We get an email from Nick every single day. So consistency, unlike any other. But here's the joy, right? We're sitting here talking about 2024. And in 2024, we're really talking about the communities we can dominate. And how can we leverage artificial intelligence to allow us to create more content, to dominate a couple of more communities here in the city of Chicago, and from the palm of our hands, we get to do that. And there isn't a cost barrier. Today, you are your only obstacle. We, we got everything we need. I mean, literally everything we need and it's compact and it's in the palm of our hand. But let's go back to when we came into real estate. Before they can even forward them phone calls to us, we run into the office. The next cell. Right. But we run into the office to check the phone that's sitting on the desk, to use the fax machine that had the curly, silky paper that you really couldn't you're, even you're, see you're the You're giving our start date. Right. You're giving our right. start date. That we had to take and on the edge of this table, right, we tore the pages, and then we put a heavy object, right, on top of it to flatten the pages out so that we'll be able to look at it, right? We don't live in that society anymore. Everything we need is right here in the palm of your hand. Everything. And you can run your entire business from the palm of your hand. So it blows my mind a little bit, and we're talking about you had a good year. I'm going to end the year pretty darn good. I had a terrible first half of the year, and a lot of you guys know that. Just abysmal. My mind was in the gutter. My attitude was in the toilet. Just terrible. I was depressed. I was eating a ton, drinking too much. Just not good. And I had to get out of that. And I know some of you guys and girls are still in that mindset. you got to pull yourself out. And what has always saved me has been the Miracle Morning book, the Compound Effect book, which... You know, there we got it right over here. Those books and those habits are, you can take those with you everywhere, wherever you go. And if your entire business is in the palm of your hand, how are we not getting back to the basics, which is two hours a day of lead generation? 
Why are these real estate offices, for those of you that are in a physical, an office that actually still has a physical location, why are these offices empty? I rolled in there this morning, started my day. Margaret rolled in this morning, starting her day. Consistency, consistency. It is not rocket science. We are not doing anything that you can't do just as well or maybe even better or different than us in terms of communication. And how is it right now that even though, yes, interest rates are up, I found a program that does 6.5% interest rate, $500 down, 580 credit score in almost half of the neighborhoods in Chicago, and people aren't talking about it. Hey. What? This is a sales and marketing job. We get the opportunity to build relationships once we've completed the sales and the marketing. And yes, we did roll up to the office this morning at 9 a.m. But I want you to tell people, what did you do before 9 a.m.? Because I'm pretty sure you had already done some work on your real estate business before you showed up here at 9 a.m. So I did the Miracle Morning routine, which is I got up, I worked out, I did not a full two hours, so I still got a little bit to go. I worked on new business. I worked on getting new content up and ready, new education out there, because it is a marketing business, but I don't use the word sales. It is a relationship business based on content and education, opening the doors of opportunity for people. So I can get some content ready. I have some help for that in the form of AI. Now, Marky is truly leading the charge in AI. It is not me. I have been a student of Marky for almost 20 years, of my 25 years in the business. She was queen of short sales and foreclosures. She was queen of social media. I've always been a student of Marky. I paid Marky to come teach Exit Strategy agents before we got the opportunity to actually work together at Exit Strategy as agents and coaches. So what she's always taught me has been, you've got to lead with value. What's your unique value proposition? And if you're not reaching out to people every day with that unique value proposition, with some sort of item of value, your business is going to go down. And if the market's also declining in the number of transactions, let's not forget the number of transactions is down almost 50% over the past two years. That is the number. That's why your income is probably down. And I know the numbers, some of you, your income is down a lot. And we're not doing the basics, getting back to work in our databases in a consistent manner day after day. That is the only difference why my business came back out of the gutter and my attitude out of the toilet and putting the wine back in the <laughs> bottle was you have to get back to that stuff. And it's like, guys, this is not rocket science. We're telling you everything. We got everything right here. We have loan programs that are great for your consumers. We have prices have not gone down, which means your sellers can get their price. They just gotta find a new place. But we can't find a new place if we're not using the tools to actually get out there and have the communication with people. And you know what, getting back to the basics. So we both believe in the miracle morning, right? Of living a life, uh, it's called life savers, but I call it living a life of sales, right? So every single morning we have silence, affirmation, lead generation, exercise and scripts. Our scripts aren't necessarily us picking up the phone to cold call, because you can have text scripts and you can have email scripts, right? There are so many ways to communicate with people. And let me say this, this morning before even showing up here, I put out content. I think we should put our content out first thing in the morning to let that content work for us throughout the course of the day. There isn't a set time that any one person should post their content because we all use the same time. We're all putting content out at the same time. It's going to be based on your target audience and the platform that you're spending your time on. So the time to post is not one size fits all. It is contingent upon your target audience and the platform that you're on. So I put out content first thing in the morning. I have already strategically reached out to my database. Tens of thousands of people are in my database because what do I do? I podcast. So at 10.15, an email went out today. In addition, this morning, not one, but four contracts. Four contracts already written. So I put out content in multiple fashions, but when we're talking about leveraging artificial intelligence, every single agent should put out a thousand, one thousand words of content per day. But you and I discovered 
It doesn't have to be words because a picture's worth a thousand words. One minute of live video content is equivalent to 1.8 million words. So in that two hours where we're doing our lifesavers or a life of sales, pick one, we're also going to do our lead generation, two hours per day. And I am clear about this. If you do the two hours per day, you're still going to make money. It might not be what you made last year, but you're still going to earn money. We see people not earning any money. There's no, no person can come to me and tell me they're doing that because the first thing I ask them is, let me see your phone. Or better yet, what's your name on social media? And then I go through their social media feed. I see all the gossip. I see all the reposts that have nothing to do with them making money selling real estate. They provide zero value. Zero. They're not a thought leader. You get to control the narrative, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't tell me what you're doing because it's too easy for me to find out what you're not doing. And I will tell you, people not making any money, they are not consistent and they do not provide Value. And it costs no money, man. It costs no money. And, you know, meeting people, you know, there's Mets and there have the Mets. And this is what I talk about all the time at Exit, is you've got the Mets and you've got the habit Mets. What are you doing today to meet new people? Or we reconnect and go 50% deeper with the people you already know. 50% wider, 50% deeper. You should be doing that even in an up market. But in a down market, that is what you have to do to survive. And we can't all go drive Uber. You know, there is a, there's not enough side hustles out there for one point whatever million realtors are left. You gotta get it together. And you know, multiple income streams, all that good stuff are great, but you're, if your core business and your passion is real estate, you've gotta get back into it. And you've gotta do it on a daily, consistent basis. And if you're not in a structure that offers accountability, you know, every Tuesday at noon, we got accountability here, we got something going on almost every day. And my daily dose, there's a content piece of that. That's not just like, hey, pay your dues. We don't do that here. We are talking about a different item of value to internal to our agents the same way that I'm expecting you to then turn around and do something externally, an item of value. And Marky's training, you know, Saturday was with your training that I was sitting there going, you know, I gotta do more video. I gotta do more raw content video. I don't need to worry about editing it. I just need to get it out there and realizing that there's so many different tools that we have that we did not have 25 years ago when we started this journey. Uh, social media is a gift, it's a blessing. A great CRM that we both use, Wise Agent, is a blessing. You don't even have to set an MLS search up anymore if you have Zenlist. So I don't know what the problem is, except you gotta realize this is a time to get your structures back in place, get your routine, your miracle morning, your compound effect, back into step because if Brian Buffini was correct yesterday and if the NAR director uh, that spoke yesterday, Dr. Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist, is correct in saying that the interest rates will go down multiple times next year, what's that gonna do in the market? It's gonna create a rush. And if you can't get it together when it's slow, what's it gonna look like when it's fast? Let's go back to, uh, I have two questions. What did you do to get yourself out of your funk? Well, um, I had to, first of all, I have a kitchen cabinet, as I call them, some really good friends around me that, you know, everybody's gonna go through a, a peak and valley in their life. As an entrepreneur, it's gonna happen. Um, I think you've gotta realize that no one can truly get you out of that but yourself. And you've gotta stop blaming other people. And I had some, I was playing the blame game. I was mad at the agents at the office. I was mad at the landlord. I was mad at comment for the elected bill. I was mad at everybody else but me. And I'm like, no, 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 wait a second. We have been through worse times than this. Marky and I remember, some of you may remember 2008, nine, and the dark days of 2010 when the cars were going back, uh, the houses were going back, everything was going back. Everything went back. Everything went back. And we, th that's not today. That's all our friends in the rest of the world are not affected the same way that the realtors and the loan officers are affected because this is a bubble of, you know, what it is with the interest rates. But everybody else out there that was kind of keeping me, you know, hey, you got to get back into it, get back into your routine. What pivoted me was just stop making the blame on everybody else and stop making the um, idea that it's just going to go away. It's going to get better tomorrow. 
Dr. Yoon is gonna magically help the interest rates drop tomorrow. What if they go? What if we're in a five to seven year period? Okay, is real estate then really for you? This is what you have to do. You gotta go back to these basics. And that is how my business actually will end the year up. I will end the year as the number one exit agent in Illinois, we believe. I have one, two more large closings left. All these, by the way, were difficult deals these year, this year. Nothing came easy to anybody. So this is not, there's no magic bullet, there's no magic credit card that worked better than any others to pay those bills. I just had to get it together. And every deal this year for everybody seemed to be tough. And some of my worst listings were this year. Really, really tough listings to sell. And, but we got through it. Yeah. And having a mastermind of people around, having, honestly, listening to some of your content because Marky is so consistent in what she produces. Like, okay, there's somebody that's giving me some hope. Get around some other people, whether it's in the industry or maybe not. Some of my friends that, you know, my friend, uh, those of you guys who are watching may know Kieran. Kieran just launched Cosmics, which is a huge brand uh, win for McDonald's out of the summer. We're so proud of him and everybody at, at that team that did three hour waits. Maybe they'll be down by next week when we get, get our first Cosmics. Do, get around some great people. And if you're not at a company that you're feeling that, maybe it's time to make a move. If you're not around the right people online, maybe you're sitting there in that social media pit of the gossip and the negativity. Pit of hell. Mm -hmm. You need the cesspool. Of the hell. cesspool. Let me tell you one, one thing that I did do this year. Because I wanted to own a piece of the AI pie, essentially. And I knew that I wanted to own it the very first week that I started using ChatGPT, which was last year this time, so one year ago, right? What I decided to do, there are a lot of groups I'm no longer affiliated with online because they don't serve me well. If you're in any Facebook group where it's okay for people to call people out of their name, mm. that is not a group for you to be in. And so I intentionally left group after group. I was in one AI group talking about AI animation, two people, you know, they want to come with their holier-than-thou beliefs. Guess what? I had the last word, turned the comments off, and left the group. To me, if I'm talking to somebody about artificial intelligence, it's all about creativity, thinking outside of your realm, right? Your own personal realm of understanding. I don't want to be with people who are playing it safe. I want to be with people who are testing boundaries. And so identify those groups. So I have a new sphere around me, they look, uh, they're substantially younger than me, they don't look like me, they don't sound like me, and every single day, it's something new, it's something creative, it's something that goes against the grain of my being, but that's a selection that I made, because I don't wanna be around negative people, I don't wanna be around people who call people out their names, because I decided to change my life. I was totally in that toxic environment, I will tell you, it is very hard to grow in a cesspool of garbage, okay? So you have to elevate yourself and you have to change the people around you. So I did that first, look, from the bottom of my hand. I changed the people I'm hanging out with online and I was intentional and I feel substantially better because every single day I'm seeing a new possibility. Like right now, uh, a group that I'm in they, he had 50 people that are launching their new AI tech. It's his innovation day, and they're all doing their launches. Talk about you lift your morale. You, oh, you can do that. Oh, I didn't know that was even humanly possible. And now you think for yourself, oh, I can do something big, tough, and bad. I can stand out. I can drive new business. This is how we're going to do it. Exactly. And that's getting in the right mindset, getting around some new people, masterminding, holding each other accountable, maybe with some love sometimes, but holding each other accountable. Uh, you can absolutely do it. And, you know, we've both seen a lot of, a lot of things in the real estate life and in general. And, you know, you can get out of a bad situation. You can get into a better situation. You are in a great career where we open doors for people. We are creating generational wealth. We have the blessing of doing that. But... If you can't get past what's going on today to see that and to be, you know, in gratitude and in motion, in motion, if you are not in motion, you know, you're going to drown in the ocean. It is true of, of doubt, of, of insecurity. You have to get out of it. And so you need some people to collaborate with and surround yourself with to motivate you. 
that have been around the block, that have seen some stuff, come talk to us. Most We're online definitely. all over social media, everywhere. And <laughs> one of the reasons I'm here today, right, yes, is because exactly. not only, right, does is Nick the owner of the number one exit franchise in the system, he so graciously accepted my 2023 Award of Excellence from Exit Realty Corporation. And yesterday, you and I, we were texting one another. And I sent you some money, right? I sent you a number. I think uh, by the end of the year, it'll be $200,000. $200,000 that I've earned, essentially $40,000 per year in residual income. And I sent you the number, right? And I did not invest every penny of the $200,000. But let me tell you what has happened. When I showed up here five years ago, I know that I'm going to get a spousal funded pension plan from Union Pacific Railroad. And I want you to know it's going to be a good pension plan. But I did not have any money in my Roth or my SEP IRA, right? I have taken $100,000 of the $200,000 paid to me in residual. I have a wealth manager now over at Chase, and I put that $100,000 towards my retirement. The next thing that I did last year, when the interest rates went up and I didn't want to feel the foreclosure prices again, I invested $50,000 in a new company called Kitchen Direct, where we do drop shipping of indoor outdoor kitchens. I took that money and set it aside. So I did not take all, well, let me say this. <laughs> I took $150,000. Now, we got taxes on that money. So I almost did invest or reinvest every penny of my residual income as a result of being here so that one day if I decide that I want to be financially eligible to retire, that as a result of aligning with you, Nick, I will have the resources to be able to do it. It's a, a great joy to be able to build your own retirement fund. It's one of the reasons that I came into real estate beyond sending my kids to college. And when I showed up here, I didn't have that money. But I got that money now, and I've been here five years, and so a s additional business and a hundred thousand dollars saved between my Roth and my SEP IRA. And you brought thank you. Just, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank, and this is what we, this is why we are open. You know, this is um, this past year was not the best year in real estate for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I took a look at everything. I'm like, I know the people that engage us. We can change some lives together. And we're not only doing it in the communities, we're doing it in the real estate community because what Mark and I have both seen is it is tough to build an entire functioning legacy on commissions alone. Yes. And so we're always looking for multiple income streams. We've both been around the block to find the right fit. And it doesn't happen just by rolling in and sitting at a desk, although we wish you would come in and sit at your desk sometimes, guys. We want you to go out there and do exactly what Mark and I do, which is share, collaborate, mastermind, hold each other accountable because that's the type of people that we want to be around and we want to sponsor the company. Um, I came to exit on my last dime, everybody knows that. Um, I spent my residuals, I started attracting people here, spent my residuals in some real stupid ways uh, on the way in. Uh, somebody was telling us that apparently my show uh, uh, is back on the deed, popping up again uh, on CNBC, the deed. And you know, you guys know that I got into the flip projects and all this. Some things, some of my ideas were not as smart as Kitchen Direct, let's put it that way. But I was able to over time realize that residual income that Exit Realty provides us is life changing, especially if you're smart with it. You know, if you just go blow that money along with your commissions, we're back at square one. If you're able to control it and put it aside, now always give credit to Erica Gilio, who's the COO of Exit International. She was the one that, she and I had a little t chat, and she goes, you know, maybe if we put this in direct deposit for you, and instead of giving it to you on a card, you won't spend it so much, because I'm really good at making money, I'm really bad at keeping it. So we had to trick me into holding it in a different account, and that is where I have gotten, truly, finally the ability to say, okay, I can breathe a little bit, I've got, room to maneuver, I've got room to take care of my family in the long run, um, I've got room to truly engage in the community and build. And that is something that I would not have been able to do with commissions alone, and certainly would not be able to do just living off the brokerage. And that is because the first five letters in broker are broke, you know. It's, but you gotta work the system, you gotta engage the system. And that look what Marky does, uh, follow her, 
like I do, because every time that Marky moves and she was moving in the direction of short sales and foreclosures, look where that did. Yeah. Look, she moved in the direction of social media, literally, <laughs> look where that did. She's moving in AI, she's leading in AI, she's letting all these categories, look what it's gonna do. And um, so we're, we just adore you and we are so thankful Thank that you, you are sharing with the industry. I'm laughing because guess what? I gave up that credit card too. And I get my money direct deposited, mm -hmm. right? In so a different now, account. Look, so <laughs> my bookkeeper yeah. is seeing this money and it is earmarked intentionally for the purpose of funding my retirement. So give up <laughs> the credit card. Yep, <laughs> cut that thing up. And, if you, and you're, you're only gonna know what we're talking about if you're at exit. So yes. that's the residual bonuses are amazing, but you gotta put it in a separate account. Yes. I actually put it, um, my grandpa and my mom, way when I was probably a baby, set up a little Fidelity account that was gonna put me through college, and it did, and then I put myself barely through law school, but I kept that account, and you know where that money, my exit money goes? It goes in that account. Wow. Because that account had $2 in it at the beginning of the pandemic because I had taken it and done other stuff with it. I had a second Fidelity account for a while, which was great, but that little baby account, now, literally, I could technically retire. It wouldn't be a great retirement yet, but it will be. And that is why over $5 million in residual bonuses, it's actually, it's about to be over $5 million in residual bonuses through, generated just by our little office group, Exit Strategy Realty, changing lives of realtors and our associates. So we are, we are super thankful for you guys watching us today and, and hanging out a little bit with us, but we are so motivated for 2024. If you're not feeling that energy, come hang out with us. We may burn you out a little bit with what we got going on, but we are so freaking excited about the opportunity of what the technology is bringing to the table and what the touch, the actual touch of humans helped out by AI. Because they're not gonna replace us, the bots, but they're gonna enhance the people that are literally using it the right way. It surely will, and I want you too to be able to increase your productivity, but more importantly, increasing your income by up to 283%. I'll tell you, we're just scratching the surface. Uh, I'm planning on us to have substantial growth in the future, as is Nick, and I think that right here in the city of Chicago, you can get started today. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, Marky, how can people get a hold of you if they want to engage? Hey, if they spell my name correctly, Nick, they will find me. M-A-R-K-I-L-E-M-O-N-S. But I got to tell you one thing about your kids, right? I'll tell you about my son, Skyler. The other day I get a call from Skyler, and it says, congratulations on a national convention that I'm doing, right? And in doing that national convention, I'm like, how does he know I'm doing their national convention? The next day, I receive a Google alert on my name for myself. I said, I wonder if my son has Google Alert set up for my name. So I asked him, I said, Scott, you mean to tell me you got Google Alert set up for my name? He just cracked up laughing. My own child has his mama set up on Google Alert, so every time something hits the internet with my name, I receive a notification, and so does he. Talk about, but that's something that you will learn about technology here at Exit Strategy Real. Absolutely, and then also one last thing, you know, I have some cheesy sayings that I talk about every day. One of them is, um, if you're not tracking, you're slacking. If you are not tracking what you're doing, um, you are slacking. And so we are really gonna focus on tracking everything we do. And AI and technology in general has gotten to the point where we can sit there and d discuss habits all you want, but if you're not tracking them, we got Apple Watches, we got all this other stuff that can track now what you're doing, track your habits, and it's just for you. It's not for anybody else unless you wanna share it, but tracking what you're doing, if you're not tracking, you're slacking, and it truly is a daily habit, we can get you back into those daily habits because we have truly seen over the years how that can get you into a much better health and wealth uh, situation in general. And we want you to be healthy and healthy. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here today. We're gonna let you get back to your work. Bye-bye. See you later. Healthy, wealthy. Yes, ma'am. Healthy.